Well, you know, you have the world's attention fixed on the Russian invasion of Ukraine. And then earlier today, North Korea fires this ballistic missile, the first such test since January. This is the eighth time North Korea has fired a ballistic missile so far this year. This is what we're learning from the South Korean military. They're saying that this test took place 7.52 a.m. local time. It was launched from the Sunan area that's near Pyongyang, obviously the capital of North Korea, um, and the South Korean military. They are closely monitoring the situation and they are in a state of readiness. The United States has also issued a statement. They said that the, the, the missile test that took place and it landed into the sea east of the Korean Peninsula does not pose any threat to the United States and its allies. It also urged North Korea to refrain from any further destabilizing action. The timing of today's ballistic missile test by North Korea is very significant. It takes place after the Beijing Winter Olympic Games. Of course, North Korea has close ties with China. It did not conduct any missile tests during the Beijing Winter Olympic Games in February. Today's ballistic missile test also takes place less than two weeks before the South Korean presidential election due to take place on March the 9th. And of course, you have concerns growing about further ballistic missile testing, further military activity by North Korea when you have the situation in Ukraine unfolding. But when you talk to analysts, they point out that North Korea has been engaging in this uptick of behavior well before the Russian invasion. I want to share this analysis for you. It's from John Delory of Yonsei University. We'll bring up the tweet for you. He writes this. Putin's war shapes almost all geopolitics right now, should factor somewhere in Kim's calculus, but even taking advantage of distraction seems to presume too much, since North Korea was already testing aggressively before the war a month ago, when briefly, all eyes were on it, unquote. Now, South Korea says that this uh, missile launch by the North is undesirable, while the world is trying to come up with some sort of resolution to the ongoing crisis and the conflict in Ukraine. I should also add that the last test that North Korea conducted was back in January the 30th when it tested that intermediate range Hwasong-12 ballistic missile. That was North Korea's biggest and boldest missile test since 2017. Anna.